find yourselves in an alcove of a tavern in the revered city of Allah Bama. You have fought your way very hard, and only one monstrosity stands in your way. Viewer apathy and a lack of sponsors! Ah! Ah! This is dumb. I mean, whatever this is, is dumb. What are we even playing? Bob, it's Happenings and Harpies, 5th edition. It's the premier fantasy local production variety hour television show making game that there is. Not only is it a fantastic team building experience for all of us, but it's a great way to make the show. How is this helping us make the show? We're just rolling dice and drinking beer and pretending to be cave trolls. I mean, aside from rolling dice, this is pretty much every Tuesday night. You guys just aren't drinking beer and rolling dice. Uh, Bob, for instance, your editor and co-host, Bobulon of the Druid City. I told you, it's Bobulon the Bard. I get to play this and I get plus 14 every time I do that and I get to do something really cool. Uh, uh, fine, okay, Bobulon the Bard, whatever. Every time you roll one of those dice, that's a brand new scene. And that's how you can get in all those explosions in. Here, just, just try it. See? And Patrickles the Fair of Calamariton. With your powerful clacker, you can sink and unsink the show at will. With you, a great power rests. Inside your clacker, you could stop or start time, move or make things stop, or you have control over the show itself. Bam. No, you can't just, you gotta, no, Patrick, you can't, you can't. Please, Patrick, we need to make sure to get the, uh, Patrick, we gotta go, Patrick! And of course, our warlock supreme, our audio mage, Matt of... Okay, and, and of course, Seth! No, 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 no. Y'all can keep all that spooky ass bullshit. I'm out. I'm not even part of this show. And uh, I, I am playing Zaki Lord, host and leader of the party. Well, since you're the writer, you get to lead the party? Yes, Bob, just because I wrote this skit means that I'm in charge, all right? If I write it, I get to be the leader. When you write a skit, you can be the leader, you can do whatever you want. But until then, you have to roll the damn dice and pretend to be Bobulos the Bard in this stupid skit. How about I roll to whip your ass? How about I roll to whip your ass, Bob? Huh? I made that joke like three weeks ago, and everybody giggled. Now I have to write a stupid skit about D&D that no one is going to get, Bob. I'm so tired. Ugh. Hey, bud. We're all on edge. We're almost finished with the season. Let's just finish up this game and we'll figure out what to do with the skit in the meantime. Fine. You wanna do the events, bud? Sure thing, Zach. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the events! Hey! Having a good time? Woo! Big shout out to Camp Calamari having a good time out there. Uh, make sure to check out some of their stuff uh, later in the show. We'll, we'll see a lot of things. Uh, Bob, you ready? Their band's called Seismos. Huh? The show is Camp Calamari. Yeah, that's the venue. Right. Sick. All right. Well, you want to do the events? No, not anymore. Okay. Did I mess it up? St. Paul and the Broken Bones will be having their album release party at the Druid City Music Hall. That's right. Uh, Friday, September 7th at 8 p.m. St. Paul and the Broken Bones will be there at the on the strip here in Tuscaloosa at the Druid City Music Hall, which is, I just said that, but hey, you know what? St. Paul and the Broken Bones are going to be at Druid City Music Hall right here in Tuscaloosa. That's September 7th. That's a Friday at 8 p.m. They're going to be releasing their album, Young Sick Camellia, right there on the Strip. That's right. St. Paul and the Broken Bones are going to be right there on the Strip at the Druid City Music Hall, Friday, September 7th at 8 p.m., releasing their newest album, Young Sick Camellia. It's going to be great because St. Paul and the Broken Bones are going to be right there at Druid City Music Hall, right there on the Strip, Friday, September 7th at 8 p.m. PM. Young Sick Camellia is the name of their album. They're releasing that as soon as they get to Druid City Music Hall right there on the strip with 
Druid's, Druid City and the Broken Bones. Uh, it's going to be the Albion Sick uh, Ambien uh, on, on the Prowl in the Strip. This Friday, September 48th, it's going to be right here. It's going to be happening uh, on uh, Bob's face. He's going to go to the moon, and he's going to take himself uh, out of the picture with uh, St. Paul and his broken fangs, and uh, he's going to go take it to the ham hock show, and uh, life will go on. Life's pretty good. What do you, hey, Bob, do you, what do you think about the druids uh, down at the hall? Kids in the hall. <laughs> you know, I think they're pretty good. That's right, football's back, baby. It's the Alabama Crimson Tide, and they're taking on the Arkansas State. Adam, what t oh, uh, mascot are they? It's the Red something. Red Wolf Pack. That's right, the Red Wolves, I think is what it is. Uh, Bryant-Denny Stadium, where they have all the home games at, and hopefully, unless they, I don't know, something bad, real bad happens. Uh, it's going to be Alabama's first home game right here <laughs> in Tuscaloosa. You can get your tickets online. Everything else is sold out. 30 bucks. Or uh, just, I don't know, just walk in. Just, they don't care. No one cares. Just pretend you're part of the staff and just like walk around. That's the easiest way to get in any, that's advice from me right here. You like this? You haven't said shit. I, you haven't given me a chance so far. You gotta get your ass, let's go. Okay. Wake it up. All right. You, just, you gotta throw it to me every once in a while. I did. Okay. I asked you, what'd you think? And you just said the one thing and I was like, cool, let's go. You're gonna embarrass Hurry me up. all of my friends. <laughs> So this ought to be a good event. I swear to fucking God, if you t open your fucking mouth. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's the like 20th annual Chef Challenge, a challenge to end hunger. It's going to be at Fort Whiting in Mobile, uh, Thursday, August 30th, 6 to 9 p.m. That's only going to be $75 to eat some tasty, tasty food uh, and free beer and wine. That's right, delicious and tasty. A challenge to end hunger, like At all hunger worldwide. Worldwide, all hunger. worldwide you can end hunger with, by giving food to somebody. That's right, if you cook enough food, no one will ever go hungry. Who knew it was that easy? It really is. You just, uh, they've had 20 of these things and like, how, when was the last time you went hungry? It's been a while. That joke is in poor taste. Uh, that's right, $75 general admission, or you can be a total badass and pay $3,500 to become a super gold sponsor or whatever, and maybe they'll say your name or something. I, I don't know. Did you say $3,500? $3,500 gets you the top billing as the main beneficiary of Feed the Gulf Coast. Maybe So maybe they're not feeding the whole world, just feeding the Gulf Coast. They're feeding people who live... In the water of the Gulf Coast? Ah. Uh, That's where Atlantis is. And they don't need anything. Aquaman uh, is a benevolent king and provides for all of the creatures of the sea. Do you know that you can, uh, tuna is the chicken of the sea? I heard that once. But does it, what does it taste? It tastes like chicken, but it's a fish. Right, because it's tuna. I like getting it in a can and just uh, opening it up and taking all the juice out of it, squeezing it, and yeah. just chugging that down. Oh like God! A, like a like an ultra sized shot. That makes me want to vomit. Well, if you vomit up perfectly good food, you will not be doing your part to end world hunger. I just want to go get some food. All right, get. Does anyone have any za? Let me down. Okay. You're so funny. <laughs> is this what you want the show to be now? I, this is what I want it to be. Okay. Where you're just like passively pissed off at me the entire time. It's the TICA annual international cat show. Yay, cats! Meow! That's, yep, is, that's is, what they say. The cat go, says. Go with that. Go with that one. Uh, that's going to be at the BJCC sun, Sunday, September 2nd at 10 a.m. $8 to get in, or 6 if you are a child. Uh, that's right. It's cats. Tika. T-I-C-A. T-I-C-A. Tika, tika Masala. Tika Masala with cat. You ever had Tika Masala with cat instead of chicken? <laughs> Not. I thought we discussed we weren't going to do this bit. But it's funny. <laughs> and I don't understand why people have this thing about eating certain animals and not other animals. They're all animals. Eat them. I'll eat anything with legs. 
Cats, 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 cats. Is that public domain? Yeah, whatever. I'll publicly bust your domain. Oh, look what time it is. <laughs> Jackass. It's auditions for five lesbians eating a quiche. That can't be right. <laughs> I told you we were not accepting Craigslist ads. Well, surprise, surprise, that policy is still in effect. Please stop sending me your Craigslist ads. No, auditions for five lesbians in a qui eating a quiche is a play. That's right, a play being put on by Company 11 down in Mobile. Uh, it's gonna go, that audition start Tuesday, September 4th from 6 to 8 p.m. And if you think you're good enough to be in the play, five lesbians eating a quiche, who do you think wrote that? I did some theater work when I was in church. Yeah? When I was young. <laughs> did, did your church ever put on five lesbians eating a quiche? Missed that one. No, did not <laughs> do that one. It would have been pretty progressive. Yeah, well. Unfortunately. God it loves was everybody. That's true. Including those who like quiche. Yeah. Which is kind of a disgusting food if you think about it. Yep. I'm an idiot. Uh, our guest tonight, ladies and gentlemen, is the organizer of Stand Up Tuscaloosa, and their fourth anniversary for the Druid City Brew Ha Ha will be happening this Wednesday, September 5th. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Mr. Richard Lockhart! Right. Welcome to the show! Thank you, glad yes, to be here. Yes, that was quite a efficient hit. Hi! Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Richard! Yeah. Comedian? Yeah, I guess. Sure I am. Entrepreneur? Entrepreneur? Those have to make money. Entrepreneur. Is that a pun? I'm, I'm, we, told, we said we weren't doing No puns. more puns. We said no puns. Thank okay. you. Great. <laughs> uh, you, uh, you do stand-up Tuscaloosa. Yeah, I do. You do, too. I, no, I don't. Sure you do. All right, fine. <laughs> I do. <sighs> Is there, is uh, making people laugh, is that a good business? We're looking to get into it. I think it's fine. I think y'all do a good job of doing it. We've been, I don't know. Whatever. It's been a wash so far. Yeah. Instead of stand-up comedy, have you considered sit-down drama? I do that at work every day. Have you thought about, um, what was the last time you thought like, hey, I'm gonna have the fourth anniversary uh, show? What made me think of that? Yeah. I don't know. I think it just happened a fourth time. Like, okay. Like, <laughs> we did one one year, and then it kept going. Okay. And by the way, Paige McBride is headlining. Who's hosting? Adam Condra. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Paige. <laughs> you may remember that Adam Condra was on the show on an earlier episode. Yeah, yeah uh, the link to that episode will be placed uh, up Bob's butt. Uh, all right, so Paige, she's, uh, she's, who else is going to be on the show? You're going to be on the show. Great. <laughs> RJ's going to be on the show. Fucking great. Adam's hosting. Yep. I'll be on there. Oh, even better. <laughs> Jeremy Satcher, who made the flyer, made the poster. Flyers are very important. Yeah. And it's at Drew City Brewing Company. Yes. I work there. Nice. Yes, do you? you? Do. Sometimes. Ah, yeah, cool. You call that work? Ah, it pays the bills. All right. Barely. How come I don't get free beer there, since you're my friend? Uh, because we are not friends. All right. <laughs> this interview is going very well. Welcome to True Alabama Secrets, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Bob's a fat piece of shit. Fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> Lockhart, what, what's the etymology of that? Where, where do your kin come from? What, where's my what come from? Or what's that other word? I Why don't, don't you know quit asking questions no one can fucking answer, all right? <laughs> God bless. It's like you got the interview skills of a fucking 14 month old child. It's all this baby fat on me. Damn right. <laughs> I've been trying to lose it all my life. Yeah, well, quit eating fucking babies then. <laughs> all right, Richard. Um, Randy Ford, he's coming from fucking some shitty state. I don't know, somewhere else. Arizona. Great. And yeah, he is. It's real dry out there. Randy's dry. Yeah. 
No. No, he ain't. That's very wrong. <laughs> Randy's wet. Drinks like a fucking fish. Yeah, he does. Well, if we go on that ride. What other road? What? Is he just like a dry person? Like he just. A little bit. Well, I am, so I guess I would notice if he was dry or not. It's. This is going to be the. What the are we talking about? <laughs> this is probably going to be the best episode. I think so. Come. <laughs> Oh, fuck. All right. Um, tell me about your 12th year of life. My 12th year? Yeah. I don't remember it. That's fair. Why do you, what are you doing? I'm just trying to help. All right. I'm trying to get to the bottom of Richard Lockhart. Richard, who, who do you think would win in a fight? Nick Saban or Super Saiyan 3 Gogito? Mm, Tua Tonga Valoa. I don't think that's how you pronounce his name. That is exactly how you pronounce his name. Is that a new Dragon Ball Z character? It could be. Football! Woo! <laughs> You're a fan of the uh, Alabama Crimson Tide. Yes, I am. You were in that A on your shirt. By accident. Did you? Oh, did you not mean to get the A put on your shirt? The no. shirt just to be... fell on top of him when he walked out the door. Was it supposed to be an R? No, it wasn't supposed to be there. How? I don't know. Did you just like accidentally put your shirt into an embroidery machine? Sure. And like, fu like in a weird Mr. Bean style accident, put a red crimson A on your shirt? I walked out the door and somebody slapped it on there. You know, Mr. Bean is not dead. He's still alive. Rowan Atkinson. That's right. Yeah. He's a big proponent of free speech. But he doesn't talk in the yeah, sketches. Yeah, I know. Isn't it weird? <laughs> Did it work? Hey, no, Richard, let me uh, ask you a question real fast. Um, let me ask you a question real fast. Go ahead, Bob. <laughs> no, you go ahead. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> Bob, why don't you go ahead and take this one for me real fast? <laughs> okay. Um, I don't know. Well, no, I insist. You go first. Me? Okay, all yeah. right. Well, Richard, I just, I wanted to figure something out. I was wondering, Bob, you can help me with this one. What were you talking about earlier? Uh, cardiovascular disease. Right. Richard, um, when are you gonna fucking drop dead? Four years. Four years of comedy, hell yeah. In four years That's hard to do, dead. man. What would make you decide to create a group of people in series of events that pays very little, but does a lot for the community? Just because I wanted to. That's uh, a good enough reason to do anything. Well, it all started because I just didn't want to drive to Birmingham because gas was $3, and then I just, Thanks, Start. Obama. <laughs> <laughs> I just started pulling a thread, and I just kept pulling it, and this is what we got out of it, so I think it's pretty cool. On a scale of uh, one to one million, uh, one being a, a complete and utter failure on the scale of the Chernobyl disaster, uh, and a million, which we'll just call 10 from now on, uh, 10 being the greatest success of all time, uh, like creation of free fission energy. Uh, where would you rate stand up Tuscaloosa? I'm gonna be biased. I'm gonna say 10. Okay. I could see that. Because everybody works really hard to like make sure that we like put everything together. Like uh, you uh, yell at me when I like just put up a mic stand in a, in a amp instead of like setting up the lights. Uh, Adam. We don't need to talk about our personal history on the show. <laughs> <laughs> Yell at me all the time. I know. He does that a lot. He yells at everybody. Listen, but he yells at me the most. This is not the Attack Zach Travis television program. <laughs> this is the Make Fun of Richard Lockhart program. It's going well. Bob, how would you make fun of Richard Lockhart? Uh, I'd ask him an honest question about the event that he's trying to promote. What's been your happiest moment with Stand Up Tuscaloosa? The open mics. Uh, cause, Just every one of them? Yeah, like, because every open mic, there's something new to it. Either, I mean, even the ones like they're not like uh, that. It's just comedians. Like there's still like like a new person shows up and starts out and 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 they just they get interested. 
um, they like the camaraderie that we have, like when we when we're outside talking and everything, and that gets them hooked on coming back and and you get to watch them get better and then they end up in the lineups like uh, like you. They might get the host well, or something. See that, that's the biggest problem about like that whole situation is that I was amazing from the start. <laughs> Coming up, yes. that is your fourth anniversary show. But that's not all stand-up Tuscaloosa's doing. Yes. What are, there, what are the other shows? What else, what else is on the docket? Where can people see comedy in Tuscaloosa? Saturday, August 25th, here at Alcove. That's uh, tomorrow. Yes. Gant Moore, uh, Brandon, <laughs> Brandon Imes, Ben Tyke Miller, uh, R.J. Marshan, uh, and Louis Slark Teague. <laughs> Man, that's a whole bunch of people. Yeah, and it just goes to show you can laugh anywhere. Yeah, um, anyone can do. Comedy. We're gonna we're gonna start a show at Brass Tap on. September 13th, and the first show, uh, we have Ben Cronberg coming, and uh, Ben will be Ben the, Cronberg, yeah. he's a weird some bitch. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> That's why I like him. Yeah, man, he's, he's good stuff. So come on out to the Brass Tap here in Tuscaloosa. When's that? Uh, September 13th, and the show is actually going to be bi-weekly, so it'll be every second and fourth Thursday. So come out to the first one. Ben Cronberg from Jer Jersey, New York? I don't know where he's from. Well, f him, whatever. Uh, he, <laughs> he didn't watch the fucking show. Uh, he's real funny, and uh, also come out uh, tomorrow to the Alcove right here, the Alcove International Tavern. Come for the friends, stay for the comedy, and also because you need to get a cab. Uh, for Gant Moore and a bunch of Huntsville comedians, and of course, uh, Wednesday, September 5th, is going to be the Druid City Brewing Company Brew Ha Ha 4th Anniversary uh, Comedy here in Tuscaloosa would not be what it is uh, without the person I'm speaking to right now. I wouldn't have a career. We wouldn't be doing what's happening. We wouldn't be doing basically really anything fun or interesting or funny here in Tuscaloosa if it wasn't for our guest. Ladies and gentlemen, Richard Lockhart. Hey! You're welcome. Ladies and gentlemen, your musical guest tonight will be playing where we are right now at Camp Calamari in Tuscaloosa, Alabama, Saturday, August 25th. The show's going to start at 8.30, but doors are at 8, and bring a donation because all donations go to the uh, Tuscaloosa Animal Metro, right? Yes. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, your musical guest tonight, Seismo!
that could seem to have a sharper plot. The point to less but never seemed to pay off. Chapman said that life's a tragedy when you'd have closed it up.